All right, let's continue our week-long series called The Price of Beauty. And tonight we're taking a closer look at the explosion of med spas in the Chicago area. Having more choices is usually a good thing. But as our NBC5 response team found out, Illinois regulations around med spas don't require the person holding the syringe to have a medical degree. And experts say that leads to more botched procedures. PJ Rendawa explains. Kristen Podorski knows beauty can be a fragile gift. I have been getting Botox since I was 19, and in the beginning, it was preventative. Now in her early 30s, she says she's never had any problems yeah. until last summer, a few days after a Botox treatment. It really looked like I had one eye that was half asleep and one eye that had seen something crazy and was shocked. So Kristen went back to her longtime injector, but didn't get the help she was looking for. But she did say, you know, that's bizarre. That's weird. I don't understand how that could happen. Um, there was really no medical explanation. But there was a medical explanation, and Kristen knew where to turn next to find it. Enter yeah, Brittany Crosdell. So every one of our rooms is stocked with our complications protocol. She's a registered nurse injector with a big online following, and she's the medical director at Fulcrum Aesthetics. So I, I have received probably at least one to two DMs a week all around the world for this exact type of case. Brittany explains Kristen had developed blepharitosis, a drooping of the upper eyelid. It's one potential side effect of neuromodulators, also known as Botox. Blepharitosis from neuromodulators can happen to anybody. So current literature actually shows that in an experienced injector, the risk of having a blepharitosis occur is about 0.05%. And under the care of an experienced injector, Crosdale says it's easy to treat. How did you fix that situation? With Kristen, um, just a couple of very, very precise injections along the eyelash line and then on the other side of the eyebrow to help relax the muscle that was pulling too hard. Brittany's clinic is ready for all types of complications. If you're getting a dermal filler, you want to make sure that they have Hylinex in the room with them should you ever have a vascular occlusion or if any dermal filler gets caught in an artery. This will reverse that for you and keep you safe. And that's why Brittany says it's important to choose a med spa that has an experienced RN, dermatologist, or plastic surgeon on site or nearby. When we have complications with dermal fillers, in very rare cases, some of them may need to be cut out, so surgically excised. And that's really where our plastic surgeons come into play, and it's incredibly important to have one on staff. After seeing Brittany for her Botox correction last summer, Kristen says she'll never trust anyone else with her face. Her advice? Make sure that you are are putting yourself and your health and you know your appearance in the hands of somebody who absolutely knows exactly what they're doing. A few key takeaways here. Our experts say you can expect to pay at least $13 to $15 per unit of Botox in Chicago. Any price lower than that means it may not be Botox. Correcting botched Botox can be very expensive. It can cost up to $1,500 to fix complications like the one Kristen had. But if your provider knows how to fix it, they usually cover that charge. And finally, Crosdell recommends getting your injections from an RN, physician assistant, or doctor and not an esthetician. PJ Randawa, NBC5, responds.